Now, uh, before we go, uh, also, uh, just stay in the region. A new clinic in the regional town of Bassa now has a borehole after years of health workers trekking hours just to fetch water. The intervention for Pumasido Ghana Limited, producers of Carbell, is in response to stories told under uh, Join New Safe Water Project, which told stories of several communities across Ghana without water. A report by Justice Beidou. This is the Basa Chips Compound, the first port of call for this village's thousand or so residents when they get ill. Okay. It was built three years ago after years of villagers trekking to the bigger town of Fombisi, the district capital, for health care. That journey could take up to an hour. We run 24-hour service at the community. We do ANC, we do um, CWC, we do um, normal uh, checkups, and then we run OPD services. When this health center was built, there was relief, but that was short-lived. The center, like the community in which it is located itself, had no water. When I, when I was growing up, we used to go to, some would go to, uh, there's a river between uh, Wesi and Basa. So we used to go there and fetch. Some would walk and some would use baskets. Yeah. So we used to go there and fetch water. We say water is life. We use water when the ladies come for ANC, especially the pregnant women. They feed themselves frequently, they need to wash their hands, they need to, like sometimes some of them come when they are to take their SP drugs, we need water. Sometimes some, when they walk and come, they are tired and very thirsty, they need to drink water. Sometimes to the small children, when they come with fever, we need to tap this point them, which we also need water. By our regular hand washing, the day in the out dusting of the facility, which we need water. We used to, sometimes when we are coming from town, which is the Fumbisi Township, I, 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 I had to pick my motorbike, tie a gallon of water, and come and pour. Sometimes we travel to other places to get gallons of water. Sometimes I go to the school to beg the headmaster to get some students at their free time when they are on break, then they will carry some water for us. Sometimes too, when I talk to the assemblyman or the volunteers of the community, they travel very far away to get water for us to run this day in day out activities. We asked Hilda Akurati, the nurse in charge here, to show us where the workers in the facility used to get water. Today, as the clinic has water, the entire community too has water. People from far and near, mostly children like this boy, who used to make the long walk to fetch water, now have a safe place to get seen. This boho that is here. It's in the name of the facility for health delivery, but the whole community is benefiting from it because water is life. And we say thank you, Cowboy Ghana, and God bless you all. The water source built by Cowbell has brought relief to many, not least the many patients who use the facility. <laughs> We used to walk long distances to get the water. Now we are very relieved because we can have the water here. I would say very thank you to Carbell Ghana because uh, they have solved a, a main problem or they have reduced a main problem for me or for the entire community. So I say God should build them and able for what they just, because if you see Busa South is a, 
let me say, it's, it's many, the communities, it's members, they're able to also include my community. Uh, we solve about 30% uh, of my problem. So I say very thank you to them. Now, so I told them if they are able to help me uh, with additional uh, goals. Justice Beidou, Basa, in the Upper East region. Indeed, water is life. Great report again by Justice Beidou. Well, as we look at all these, we have to look at um, stories occupying the front and back pages of uh, the dailies we have next. <laughs> 